Hey everybody, in this short video I'll be showing you guys how to upgrade your own Ecotech Marine devices such as MP10s and Vectra Pumps so you can use a new Mobius app that you can connect with your phone. So go ahead and order one of these um, radio frequency modules. Note that for every device you're upgrading, it would need its own separate chip. So you're upgrading three older devices, you'll need three of these. Okay, so here I have my Vectra Pump. And I'm just showing you guys inside the Mobius app, what you would do is you would add a device uh, and click on Update Legacy Devices. If you guys do not see your older Ecotech Marine device here, that means it probably has the older green chip inside the controller. So from there, you would know that this device would need an upgrade. So here's what the new RF chip looks like. It's pretty small, it's about like an inch across. And you guys can see that it has a few pins, so don't be too worried. You're not really doing much. All you're doing is unplugging one chip and plugging in the other. Alright, to get started, you would just want to unscrew these back screws from the plate, remove the cover, and as you guys can see here at the top right, we have the older Ecotech chip right there. And we're just going to be replacing it with this new chip. Alright, for the next steps, you would want to just remove the plate from the front. It should look something like this. It's not screwed down or anything, so it should come off really easily. This little uh, knob might fall off, but don't worry, we can put that back at the end. I forgot to capture this next part, but you would just take the black chip and put it where that green chip is and matching up the pins and the holes. Alright, so once you're done, it should look something like this. Make sure you guys line up the pins right and try not to bend the pins because that could mean the end of that chip. So as you guys can see here, I will go back on the Mobius app, click on add a device here. And I'm going to go ahead and refresh this device search. As you guys can see here, it's not pulling up just quite yet because we haven't updated the chip. Alright, so from here, we would go to update legacy devices. You should finally see the older Ecotech device. Click on it, press next. Go ahead and update it. It should take around 5 minutes or so. You do have to be in the app until it says that you can leave. If you guys do get an error with um, updating the radio, go ahead and factory reset the device and then update it again. If you guys are wondering how to do a hard reset, you can go ahead and pause right now and follow the instructions on the screen. So this is really useful if you want to have some customizations to the older devices. I'm a budget reefer, so I buy a lot of new stuff. Some of the new stuff still works perfectly fine, but I do like having an app that goes with the device and this does about that. Now at the time of this video, these are what my versions are. Yours might be different depending on when you watch this. But if you guys have any questions, you can leave them below. Other than that, I think that wraps up this video. Thank you guys.